Hey guys, what is up? This is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you when you are editing a video for your clients, how you can get reviewed by your clients, right? So if you're working on a project here in Adobe Premiere Pro, you have to render this video clip again and again, then you have to send that clip to your client, then they'll note down the timestamp and send you back again. Then you can change the adjustment, right? But in Adobe Premiere Pro, there is a feature that you can use, which is frame.io that will help you to get review from your client very easily inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's see how you can use that. So this is the sequence that I have already worked, right? If I play it back, you can see there is a uh, short advertisement clip. And now I want to send this clip to my clients and let's see if they need any changes, right? So how you can do that? There are several ways that you can follow. First, you need to go to window and there you will see review with frame.io you can just click here right or you can go here on your workspace settings from here you can select review otherwise you can go here on windows and from here you can go to workspace and from here you can click review that will open the review workspace layout right so here you will see there is a screen which is frame.io and here you have to sign in using your adobe account frame.io was an individual company before but adobe has acquired this company and it is now adobe product right you can buy their subscription if you buy the subscription from frame.io then you will get larger space so suppose if you are working with a lot of clients you need a lot of space to save the project files then you can purchase their subscription but in my experience you can work with the free account right so let's sign in click here to sign in so i'll just sign in using my email account let's go then you can just click sign with google here you can see authentication complete now i can close this browser and i can get back to adobe premiere pro here you can see it has already loaded some demo project so that you can know about the process i will not use that so i can just select these projects and then i can click delete so that i can free up some spaces right so i can just click delete make sure when you are using an account that is not used so frequently because if you're using a free account it will allow you to upload 15 files right once you complete 15 files you will not able to use that account for free right so you have to purchase a new account or you can make another account then you can sign in again so here is the dashboard of frame.io from here you can make new folders you can upload or you can download files right and from here you can add new collaborator suppose you want to add a new teammates or new collaborator here on this project you can just add her email and they'll get a notification right and if you want to make a new project if you want to make a new team so that you can share that particular project with them then you can go here then you can click add project and from here you have to give it a name suppose you want to make a travel project then you can just name it and then you can add permissions suppose you want to disable the download feature you can just disable it then can invite others you can disable it if you want so that's the thing if you click create it will make a new project here on this dashboard you can just navigate through this project by clicking here right so this is our demo project i'll just use this one for this demonstration first let's make a new folder for this project so i can click here new then i can click new folder and then it will make a new folder you can just click and then you can rename it i will just rename it add videos then i can press enter right so that is my folder i can enter to the folder and then i can upload whatever i want i can upload the sequence i can upload the files i can upload bins or I can just upload the final product, which is the rendered final version of my video. In my case, I want to do that. So I have already made an in point and an out point, right? So you can just make in point just by going here. So I can just clear. If you go at the beginning, then you can press I to make in point. You can go here at the end or you can press end on your keyboard. Then press O to make an out point. Now, here i want to upload my sequence if i click here upload then if i click active sequence it will give me some options so i'll just keep this name if you want to rename it now you can rename it and from here you can select the resolution of your video 
So I want to send to my clients the best possible resolution. That is the reason I'm selecting Web 1080. And from that range, you can select in to out. You can select whole sequence or you can select work area. In my case, as I have already selected the in point and the out point, I'm selecting that one. And from the next option, you can select scratch disks where you want to save the rendered file, right? So if I click here, I can select a folder. In my case, I have selected desktop and there I have selected this folder and then I can click OK. It will render the file and it will save that file on that particular folder. And the next option, sir, export markers as a comment. So if we have any marker, then it will export the video file and it will attach that marker as a comment on that video file when you are sending that file to your client. And the next option is keep rendered file. So I'll just select this one. And the next one is auto version. So when you are making a lot of adjustment, when you are doing a lot of back and forth to your client, then it will just make versions of that particular file. It will not delete that file, right? So you can just select auto version. Now you have to click upload. Once you click upload, Premiere Pro will send this video file to media encoder and media encoder will render this video file. Once it complete the render, then you can get back here and you will see this video is being uploaded. It will upload the video file on a cloud server. And from here, you can share a link to your client so that they can give you review, right? So this is the video file. If you click here, you see there are several options which is shared to review if you want to send someone to get review then you can select this one then share as a presentation import file if you want to download that file again you can do that open file in browser and the next one is change status so i want to get review so i'll just select need review so you'll see there is a uh, warning which says need review right the next one is make private if you don't want to share this file again with your client you can just make it private so if your client have that link they will not able to see that video file then the next one is move up to folder and then delete right so i'll just make a shareable link which is share for review and from here you can copy this link i'll just select this link right if i click copy link it will select this link then I can go on a browser i can open a incognito window i can paste it so this is the link that you have to send to a client once your client get that link they'll see this option this dashboard they don't need to download any kinds of software that is the interesting fact of this reviewing process so you can just press play to play this video file and whether you want to change something suppose i don't want to use this particular photo or video right so what i can do i can leave a comment here suppose i i don't want that right and you can click here to get some options suppose you want to mark you can click and drag it and then you can use arrows You can change the color of your arrow suppose you want to have different color or you want to have this color you can change this one right then you can just mark this clip i want to remove this i don't want to use this clip you can just write that and then you can send it right once you click send then it will ask want to leave a comment add your information here so i'll just add my email address here then if i click continue then i can click agree then continue so it has already made this comment right you can see and next i want to suppose remove this one then i can also write remove this one also then i can click send it will add that comment here so once your client give the reviews it will be automatically add on your frame.io interface in adobe premiere pro if you get back to adobe premiere pro if you just double click here to open it you will see there has been a comment added which is i don't want that and this one is remove this one right you can easily get the feedback from your client and you can easily make the changes because that is very very easy to use process and that is very 
convenient if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro. So that is all. I hope you have get the idea how you can get review from your client for your video project in Adobe Premiere Pro using a easy to use process, which is frame.io. I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked this video and learned something new from this one, then you can give me a thumbs up. If you new this channel, want to learn Adobe Premiere Pro video editing, then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Other than goodbye.